And if there's anything that the mass shootings in Lafayette, Chattanooga, Charleston, Virginia Tech, Aurora, and many other places has taught us, it's that we should do everything in our power to tighten these loopholes and prevent weapons from falling into the hands of hateful evildoers and the mentally disturbed. Who was not only a great comedian, a great actress, and a great writer, but a great advocate for a noble cause. Good morning. Um, first of all, this is where I, this is good. Um, thank you all for coming today. Uh, and thank you to my cousin Chuck for inviting me to be a part of today's event. I, um, I wanted to take this opportunity to explain how I feel and also support this new push for better, more sensible gun control laws. We're here today to say enough is enough to mass shootings in our schools, our college campuses, our military bases, and even in our movie theaters. These shootings have got to stop. I don't know how else to say it. I, Maybe the worst part about all this is that there is a common sense way to stop mass shootings. There are many ways. For me, the pain I share with so many other Americans on the issue of gun violence, it was made extremely personal to me on Thursday, July 23rd, when John, I'm not even gonna say his name, when this, when he sat down for my movie, Trainwreck, at the Grand Theater in Lafayette, Louisiana. Two lives were tragically lost and others injured. And I've thought about these victims each day since the tragedy. When I heard about this news, I was completely devastated and I just, I wanted to just go down to Louisiana. And then I was angry. My heart goes out to Jillian and Macy, to the survivors, to the families, and everyone who was tied to this tragic, senseless, and horrifying actions of this man who shouldn't have been able to put his hands on a gun in the first place. And the thought of this community being, being turned around and upside down by this just sickens me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unless something is done and done soon, dangerous people will continue to get their hands on guns. We know what can happen when they do. <clears throat> I was heartbroken when I heard about Columbine and Sandy Hook and Aurora and, and so many other names of places that are seared into our memories. And I was heartbroken again when I heard about Lafayette, and I still am. And what Chuck said here today, it deserves unanimous support. We'll never know why people choose to do these painful things, but sadly, we always find out how. How the shooter got their gun. And it's, it's often something that shouldn't have happened in the first place. And today's push makes so much sense because it seeks to address the how. We need a background check system with holes, without holes and fatal flaws. We need one with accurate information that protects us like a firewall. The critics scoff and say, well, there's no way to stop crazy people from doing crazy things, but they're wrong. There is a way to stop them. Preventing dangerous people from getting guns is very possible. We have common sense solutions. We can toughen background checks and stop the sale of firearms to folks who have a violent history or a history of mental illness. We can invest more in treating mental illness instead of slashing funding. These are not extreme ideas. Right. And what Chuck is describing, they're sensible measures and restrictions. Right. And no one wants to live in a country where a felon, the mentally ill, or other dangerous people can get their hands on a gun with such ease. The time is now for American people to rally for these changes. These are my first public comments on the issue of gun violence, but I can promise you they will not be my last. Good. Thank you. Thank you.